Welcome back to Too Much Free Time Gaming. Last time, I spat some facts out about the world and the movie in general. And we basically just went around gathering ingredients to try and make an artificial heart to control the heartless and make them dance. Get that boogie on. It didn't work out so well, as you can tell. So, before we get unpaused and back into the fray of things, if you've been watching so far, and if you haven't already, I don't know what's wrong with you if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe. Can't hurt takes a few seconds it helps out maybe toss a like on the video turn those notifications on so you know when these are coming up you know those things yeah all right so let's get into bashing some heartless found a few more little facts about the world in general movie and stuff that i thought were fun come on can get into that after is that it? Yeah, I'm not saying that was not. Come on! Come on! This does not look good. So, Come on! As you can expect, I mean, especially back in the day, when you know, claymation and stop motion and all that good type of stuff was still being pioneered, and it wasn't like it couldn't be like touched up with computers and all that good happy stuff. And, uh, this movie in general took over three years in total to make, so that's fun. Three years of messing around with clay and all that happy, because yeah, and the quality shows. I mean, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be as classic a tale if it weren't so amazingly done. So. There's a reason it's played around Halloween and Christmas, besides the content. <laughs> it wasn't good enough to be played, I think, on two son of a bitch! I really need some of those. Oh, wow. I have no idea when I'm going to get them, but there are abilities that will stop that kind of stuff from happening. Yeah, they're just level up abilities. And I have no idea when I'm gonna get them. Knowing my luck, but and it has to do with the stuff you chose at the beginning of the game. Knowing my luck, I chose like the wrong options and Come on! Like I'm not gonna get them until I'm like level 60 or something. Like, yeah, I don't know. But it's definitely gonna make things a little bit more difficult until I get them for certain bosses I can think of on the top of my head. You could grind off screen at, at some point later on and try to get the to make at least the ending of the stuff easier, but yeah, we'll see. Like I guess I could be wrong. They could be coming up in the next few levels, which is why I don't skip just fights in general. Try to get as much experience as I can without actually grinding. Trigger is the freaking shortcut. Come on! spouting facts and doing play at the same time is a little difficult, depending since we're not just like overkill right now. And since obviously you saw that I can be taken down. Well, that's always good. But, eh. All good. I'd say the enemies pose more of a threat in this world than even the boss. The boss itself isn't that bad. It's more, again, it's at least the first phase and no, no, even the second phase. They're very gimmicky. It's a very gimmicky boss again. I'd say Ursula is probably more of a challenge, technically. Because of the stupid lightning and everything. Constantly going off. All right, time to take our trip over the spiral hill. Come on! Oh, great. 
Next little fact Floyd, is that apparently Jack's appearance, or at least his first motion, or his first motion picture experience or appearance, was not his own. But apparently, there's a little bit of a frame in the 1988 flick. Yeah, 1988 Beetlejuice. Apparently, another another of Tim, you know, another of Burton's projects. But yeah. In one of the frames, probably in the, probably in Beetlejuice's like, home, like the model the town, it's probably in there somewhere, stuck in the corners or whatever. Probably. Here I go. Yeah, apparently shows up. Also, small cameo in James and the Giant Peach. Another Burton joint. 1996. And then plenty of other popular films like apparently you spotted in Coraline, Princess and the Frog, Alice in Wonderland, Finding Nemo, and even Sleepy Hollow. Huh. So yeah, interesting. Huh. Apparently, Jack's, as we can see right here, his suit originally was supposed to be all black, but due to the director, not to Burton, uh, he made the decision to make it a white pinstripe to set itself apart from an already dark background and setting. So. If it was up to Mr. Burton, he would have had just a plain old black suit. I don't know if Jack would be as iconic looking. No. No, I don't know if I can get any of these boxes yet. Because I don't have a certain ability. Maybe this one. Yeah, okay. Just gummy ship parts. Oh, look, there's one down there. Nice. More gummy ship parts. So much actual customization. Come on! Come on! I might do a little bit more customization of it before we go to the next world. Uh, eh, 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 game the system. Yes. Um. Oh look, defense up. I'll take that. Thank you. Um. Just because the routes can get a little funky, I guess. And I'm not talking about the Kong. Uh, but yeah, they can get a little crazy. Some of the amounts of enemies and stuff they throw at you. So, might do a little bit more customization, throw on a little bit more upgrading, shielding wise, and everything. But, we'll see. Alright. To Oogie's Manor we go. I knew Oogie Boogie was behind this. Oh, so this is a fun, this is like a little uh, behind the scenes thing. Apparently there was a scene in the original movie that Selleck told uh, in an interview in 2018 that he really regrets replacing when it comes to Christmas, comes to Halloween Town. So he says that we show a lot of Halloween towners enjoying winter sports and snow, and you see the vampires playing hockey and they hit the puck right at the camera. And they originally, it was Tim Burton's head as the camera. Uh, it was really funny. Uh, and apparently one of the Hollywood producers just 
told him that like oh, I don't think Tim's gonna like that and he said he feels stupid for just not asking Tim um, and it's just he sh they reshot it as a pumpkin instead of Tim's head <laughs> I don't know I think I think Burton I think he would have gotten a kick out of it if they would have asked him for sure <laughs> I would have laughed more probably so yeah <laughs> all right now we're assaulting Bogey's Manor and yes you can go off the edges here which I don't want to do see ya That's what we're doing. So we're not going off the edges. Yeah, we just gotta make our way. I think there's actually a. I might switch. I don't remember. That might be a shortcut, but I think. Okay, get fucked, ghost. got rid of it, but I was pretty sure there was a red trinity. Well, maybe they just got rid of it. In that area. Anyways. See ya. Oh, you light that up. Oh, Skip, scap, scally skank. Okay. You might be asking yourself, well, if Oogie can't control the Heartless, what are they doing around here? And it's basically just because of the fake heart and because they were already here for whatever reason. They never actually explain why they just had, like, are there already in general and why they weren't, but I don't know. Something, probably something to do with Jack in general, like, they say the Heartless go, you know. But no, no, that is actually one of the things they never fully explain as to where they just popped up, at least like the smaller ones, and then obviously they started to multiply as we fucked with the heart, but, See ya. yep. Yeah. Looking for Oogie right now, we are actually trying to find Lock Shock and Barrel. Fire! 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 Yeah. Want the experience. Don't feel like going over the edge and having to climb back up this place. There's a item over in that cage. I just don't remember quite how to get those down. But if I'm not mistaken, there's ways after you're technically done with this mansion that all the items come back, or at least get into an easier location for you to go grab after Fire! the fight. If I'm not mistaken, if I have enough, I did. Oh, strike rate is fun, but I think I'll go with Blitz for right now. Again, just altering the combos and everything not only makes it a little bit more fun, 
because you... Ooh, second wind will come from... Okay, we're going to return. Yeah, we're going to go with second wind. Making them come back quicker is much better because they always, always decide to get KO'd, so... Gives up MP to give 30 HP to an entire party. I don't think we should save for that, because the other one is just upgrading your cheer... Cheers to upgrading your summon gauge. And as we discovered in a few episodes ago, the summons kind of blow in this one. Now we beat up children! Literally. Beating children, beating children, Halloween fun. Smack their asses, make them red. This is it. Come on, come on. Make them suffer. Then go to bed. Sorry. Beating children. We were just following orders. Oogie Boogie told us to steal the heart. It's all Barrel's fault. It was his idea to tell Oogie Boogie about the heart. Yeah, that's right. But you guys said... You should be ashamed. Yay. We beat children. Uh, I think we're gonna attack this. Oogie Boogie admitted it. We had no choice. Just examine it. Uh, I swear this is a thing. There we go. Just had to get this stupid. And that unlocks the door to Oogie's spot. We're gonna save real quick though, because we got some level ups. Still got plenty of time though. But yeah. Oh! Oh! Get fucked. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you can kind of skip a lot of this if you do it right. I'll probably do it wrong, but there we go. Take that! Actually, one of the worlds that's coming up is one of my favorites just because of the one mechanic that you get in it. But, okay, yeah. Uh, you know what? Just because I would be remiss if I didn't check what it was, there was this over here. I know it's just like a shortcut somewhere. I just don't remember where. Ah. Literally to where we have to get. Okay. So you can just jump down here, but yeah. Come on. But as you can see by the face on the door, you're in for an encounter. I don't remember his song. Bzz, song. Yeah. But going to the torture chamber. Ooh. Oogie boogie. Give me back that heart. That, the heart. You want it? Well then, come on over and get it. Ah! <laughs> now, let's see if I can get their attention. Oh, hi, boys. <laughs> Uh, get fucked, Oogie. That's it. it? <laughs> Nobody disrespects me! Nobody! Yeah, but... Yep. Come on, baby. Come on! Yeah, I'm literally too heartless Take that. But yeah, so you have to see where he is and activate the cage. And that brings it up. And then you just smack him. All that badass in this phase. In general. There's dice. Yep. 
summons more heartless. Which, hey, I mean, that's a free experience. So I'll take that. <laughs> Jack got up in there and said, fuck off, man. Get bone smacked, daddy. Time to bone daddy. I think like one or two more rounds. Something like that. Yeah. Not all that impressive for being the quote unquote king of nightmares. And all that. Hey guys. Jack's like really trying to get up in there. All right. Here I come. Deep freeze. Fire. Trying to get the wrong one. Before we go. Boom. Okay. You can actually get him outside of the thing, and it's like a total wasted. What's it called? Or I can't get up. Okay. So that's like a waste to do that one, because I could not get up there. Okay. Cool. Come on, baby. Damn it. Snake eyes. Fuck. That was just about to heal. Whatever. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, really? Right, this doesn't take too long. I, did, I normally I did it, but it's only the second attempt, and these guys don't take too long, so it's great. Save me the effort of having to do all that. While we're doing. Oh, really? I can't. Oh, yeah, it's because it's not a cutscene yet. Now it's a cutscene. <laughs> so, one little more fun fact while we're doing the do here. Uh, for any of you out there who are still clinging on to hope of hope that at some point... See what I mean? Literally, like nothing. What you can do here is just fire. Fire. So, I fucked that one up. Uh, there, yeah, there will not be any kind of, like, nightmare sequel, probably ever, <laughs> because of, well, because of Burton, he just, okay, now we gotta bust up, let's not get hit by this again, because I don't want to die. This should help. I don't even know. Heal. There's a few abilities I don't have that are technically like for survival. There's one that survives combos that you normally get with one HP. There's one called Leaf Bracer that stops you from taking damage or getting knocked out of healing. There's yeah, there's a few abilities that yeah. Aha! Apparently I'm just not getting into a little bit later. I'm already level 30 something. Fire! See ya! Cheap mother You didn't even roll anything for that, you cheap motherfucker! Okay, okay. Ow. I already know that that one's a no-go. There's no point in going there because I can't get up there. So this should be it. There we go. MP and treasure magnet, come on! Yeah! Yeah, I don't need treasure magnet or MP. I need freaking... I need those abilities I was just talking about. That's what I need. So give me those abilities, game. Because, fuck, I need them. <laughs> Ew. My bugs! My bugs! Yep. Is 
So, the heart was a failure after all. We came to Holy Circlet. Another Ansem's report. But are we done? We beat the boss, right? It's getting real. Didn't do this in the movie. He's crazy. He's crazy. Yes. Whoa. How did he get so big? Look, it's brimming with the power of darkness. Boogie Boogie is drawing power from those dark globs. So, we just have to destroy those things, right? Oh. Phase two. Oh. A little nublin. It's literally just, yeah, climbing Oogie's manor again. Well, Oogie himself. And yeah, taking these this is it. globs out. <laughs> they attack back with some fire. But... If you're smart about it, it's not too bad. Some heartless show up from time to time. Get some tech off of it. You hit the fire back. That's always cool. And yeah, the episode's running a little bit longer because we ended up getting into a boss like, double take here, so... Eh. I'll take it. It's all good. This is it! Heal. Not taking any chances. Heal. Uh. Come on, boss. Let's go. Take that. I don't know if they're up to it. Here. Here. So there's a lot of them. So we're just gonna continue through. Now. Take that. Heal. Here. Oh. Yeah, Donald came back already. Ha. Marley's gonna have to go back up. Yeah, probably just gonna go back up. The other way. Well, thanks, Donald. Chance of that. There we go. Yeah. Another level up, but only strength. Dang. How thoughtful. <laughs> Slow mo. Okay, could we truly be done this time with the Lord of Night? Just so coincidentally, the keyhole was under his ace. Fuck moon. Moon. But yeah. So any items that you might have missed on the manor since it's now gone, if they if you did miss, eh, Gravera. 
they will now be in that field somewhere where the manor Sally, was. Why didn't I listen to and you? And you can go grab him. Don't feel bad. It's about Jack. the long and short of that. We'll come up with another plan for Halloween. <laughs> Next time, we'll do it together. Yeah. I guess we have no choice. We'll have to cancel the Heartless Halloween Festival for now. Here, I want you to have this. Yeah. Jack gave us a weird B minus horror movie. Pumpkinhead. Visit us anytime, Sora. Next year's Halloween will be the scariest ever. Emotion, memory. We put all in the necessary ingredients. What else do you need to make a heart? What is a heart anyway? I can't figure it out. All right, so that's Halloween Town. <laughs> and before I even forget, yes, we will go ahead and equip the pumpkin head because it is lower. Let's get ourselves over to the save point before we go ahead and end the episode. No more heartless here at the moment. When you come, on oh, subsequent, like when you come back and everything, there, yeah. There. Right now, it's, oh, you took care of all the heartless already, so, okay. We will drop a hot save before the end here. Another two level ups in the bag. All right, so that's it for the episode. If you like what you saw, go ahead and drop a like, uh, subscribe. You know, throw me a comment my way. Let me know what's going on. Uh, yeah, next time we'll be heading over to a new world, as far as I know. I don't know if anything else pops up. I don't know if like another tournament pops up or anything, but we'll probably just save that again for another. We'll go do, you know, and then come back. We'll go do the world and then come back to that kind of stuff. Anywho, uh, yeah, until then, you guys have been great. I'll see you later. <laughs>